Good morning, Paul. Georgie from Allendale. It's December 2nd, Friday morning, and uh, we did get the non-farm payroll numbers out here this morning. A positive number, exactly what the trade was looking for. Stock market uh, up sharply, actually rallied a little after the report and then set back to where it was trading uh, before the report. Uh, The question of the day will be, can the enthusiasm uh, continue in the uh, stock market after a week of sharp rallies like we've seen and uh, without any profit taking? And that's uh, the big question from the uh, financial sector here this morning. Something that we'll be watching is around 1030, the European markets close. Uh, what kind of action will uh, the U.S. Uh, financial markets have when they're uh, basically on their own? Uh, news out of uh, Europe, the battle still between the IMF, the EU, and trying to come up with some conclusion there and settlement. Uh, it seems like the uh, IMF wants to continue to play uh, tough love type uh, action. We want policy changes before we're going to give you any money. So that's still got to be worked out. And the financial ministers uh, will be meeting next Friday uh, on uh, December 9th, hopefully to uh, finalize the deal and uh, calm the situation. The uh, bank, uh, uh, the major bank uh, influences of the last, uh, this last week certainly add some confidence to traders, but the question that we have for uh, grain traders is will the financial uh, investors come back into the uh, grain markets? The problem we have in the grain markets is uh, twofold. We got good weather in South America that uh, continues. Now I know there's uh, some talk out there that weather is going to change after the first of the year. Well, our uh, analyst at this point in time doesn't see any major crop uh, stress uh, for that area, at least uh, in the foreseeable future. The other problem that we've got in the grain side of things is demand. Uh, Every week here in the last uh, four weeks anyway, the demand side of the equation is well below what we need to meet USDA expectations. And uh, at the point that we're at right now, we continue to increase ending stocks in corn. We continue to increase ending stocks in soybeans. Now, we're not going to get any uh, update from the USDA till mid-January. The uh, December report usually is uh, there isn't much change there, and it's mostly on the the other crops that uh, we get information on in December. So we've got a long time to wait until we get uh, some more USDA numbers, and we're going to have to uh, watch the demand side. Uh, The key will be is uh, can we get some large sales? Uh, The question is why should they come in and buy U.S. corn? And when we've got uh, South American corn $9 a ton cheaper, we've got uh, the uh, wheat, soft red wheat here in the U.S., 9 to $10 a ton cheaper than corn. Uh, So it's an advantage to buy other things other than corn when you're uh, looking at the world buyer. So we expect uh, some quiet trade here today. Uh, The key areas are going to be this week's low in uh, the corn and the soybean futures. If we would take out those lows, I would expect there are more uh, stops underneath those levels and could uh, activate more selling there and press this market lower going into the uh, the close today this week. So those are things to uh, to monitor in the grains. In the livestock trade, uh, cutout values in the beef continue to slide uh, down a dollar plus in both choice and select. Uh, yesterday, uh, cash markets have been at a standstill. Packers want more money, and uh, they're hoping to get steady money at least this week. But the uh, snowstorm that uh, is expected out west is uh, hampering some uh, feedlot movement and uh, causing some support to the cash cattle trade, especially when there's another storm forecast for next week. So. Look for uh, some two-sided trade in the uh, in the livestock uh, pork complex. Uh, we had uh, cutout values there higher, so we're seeing a little higher trade in the uh, nearby hog futures here overnight to uh, support that. A lot of the uh, finance or the livestock markets will be uh, focused on what happens over in the financial trade and can they hold those strong markets that we've seen this week. So. 
Keep in touch with Allendale Research. We'd be happy to uh, answer any questions that you might have. Also want to remind everybody, uh, next Wednesday, uh, December 7th, I'll be in uh, Albert Lee, Minnesota for the Farmer State Bank up there. Uh, they've got an all-day seminar, uh, Agricultural Seminar 2011. Uh, if you'd like to attend that, uh, check out our website, get details, or just give us a call at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, and I'll talk to you on Monday morning. Thank you.